hello everyone welcome back to web development training so in the last video i showed you how you can create your own asp.net web application and how you can open it in the visual studio so in this video i'm going to show you how you can customize this asp.net web application based on your own requirement so let assume i created this course for you web development training so i want to customize this website uh, for the this for this training so first I want to change this application name as I told you earlier this concept uses master page so first you are hi I have to go into the master pages to change that application name so where we find the master page this is site dot master page you have to click on the site dot master page and search for application name here you find in the nav nav brand anchor tag you find an application name you just have to change it web training and hit control s or uh, just you can click on the these two buttons for save your all the files use this or for save this single file use this after that go back to your browser and see it is changed to uh, web training now i want to change the home tab so you see the title of this page is home page my asp.net web application okay so i want to change it to uh, home page task web training so search for go to the top of the site dot master page and change the my asp.net application to web training and hit save and come back to the browser and see now it is changed to home page dash web training if you go to another page about then you can see this is reflected to this page also uh, you if you go to the contact you see here it is also reflected contact as web training so this is how you can change this uh, web titles and now i want to change the home page so i i want here not asp.net i want a web training over here so So first, this is on, you are on which page? You are on home page. So home page is a default dot axpx page. So go to the solution explorer and click on default dot axpx, and here you find asp dot net. Very first tag. So so change it to web training. So this is ASP.NET web training to change it and go to the browser and reload ASP.NET web training. So after that you find ASP.NET is a free and this is okay for me. And now you can if you want to change this getting started or you want to change this learn more button or text, you can just find the learn more. This is a class using the button tag you just have to change this to read more and hit save button and reload your browser so here it changed the read more here because i ch i choose the wrong one so change all of the, all of it read more and if you go to the top you find the learn more here so click on click on it and change it save and reload your browser read more read more read more read more so this is how you can change your home page but now the footer is is the same as previous i if you want to change the footer go to the site dot master and search the footer and change the name web training hit save reload your browser and see it is now changed to 2018 web training if you want to change something in about you have to open the about.expx page from the solution explorer and you can change all your information from here my name is the breeze and i am providing free 
training okay so this is how you can uh, change all your text on the about page reload it and see my name is Tabrez and I am I am providing free training so if you want to change something on the contact then you just have to search for contact.xpx here and you can change all this information based on your requirement as I am living in Noida okay sector 18 and you can change your mobile number too and hit the save and come back and reload so this is how you can change your contact page up now now you don't need about or contact or you just need another uh, web page to your website then the simple step the simple step to add a web page to your site choose your application right click click on add and then choose web form when you choose web form this will add a AS, AXPX means ASP, ASP.NET page to your solution when you want to add any HTML page you just have to click on HTML page when you want to add a JavaScript file you can click on JavaScript file CSS file then you have to click on style sheet so many options are available in the Visual Studio what type of page you want to add you can add it from the directly from here or if because I am running my application in the browser I have to close this for see another options then again click on the click on your project name add and click on new item when you click on the new item you see the bunch of different type of pages or options are available here you can choose any of them I want to choose the web form with master pages because I am currently using a master page concept and I want to name it courses means what type of courses I, I we are providing on this training training throughout this training and then click on add button then you are using a, a master page concept then you have to choose the master page from two of them I am using currently for the web uh, web applications you have to use site.master and click ok when you click ok now the courses.axpx page is created if you want to write some content here to show up uh, show uh, show on the browser to, then you have to write it but you have to change something in the site.master page let's I want to show the courses on the browser in the header then I have to enter all those content over here if you do not put the code here or you does not create a li item then you are unable to see the changes in the browser let's run the application before I am going to change it I want to show you how it looks like now the header is come up with the three options currently home about and contact see now I want my courses page before the about so you have to use li a run at server because I am using sp.net project and then uske baad href equal to choose courses here you find courses and then close the anchor tag and write your text courses hit save come back to browser and reload see home and then courses so this is how you can you can uh, add multiple navigation to your web application now if you click on courses you find nothing you find just header and the footer then if you want to add something here you can add it by simply using the HTML markup so if I write here ASP.NET course then I can add several lines over here in this course I'll teach you you can work with 
dot net okay so if you want to add another you can copy and just paste it HTML course save the file and go back to browser and reload it see all those changes is done here so this is how you can change your ASP.NET uh, template that is provided by the Visual Studio and you can change it or customize it based on your requirement. I hope you understand it how easy it is to customize your ASP.NET template and change it based on your business requirement. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.